Wait, wait, you taking off the hours? Well, okay, so look, these are our new hours. Surprise, we have new hours. Uh, but I put this on the other night and uh, it was crooked. Shouldn't have been, but I was doing it by myself because, you know, I was trying to be a hero and not do it the smart way. We're officially open six days a week. We are now open on Saturdays and our showroom is now open until 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. So that was a really convoluted way of saying we're open Monday through Friday, 9 till 7 p.m. And then uh, on Saturday from 9 till 4. More chances to sell cars. Yeah. More chances for people to actually come over here after work. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, because it's always closed. Yeah. And there's so many people that stop by. I mean, we see you guys on our cameras. Uh, there's so many people that stop by and uh, never get to come in the shop because it's always closed and we're not open Saturdays. So now we are. And you guys don't have to worry about that anymore. There's an open house, I see. There is open house September 28th. Uh, it's going to be fun. Again, everywhere around here gets filled up with cars. Um, we have vendors. We'll have some cars on the dyno. Show you guys what we've got going on at the shop currently. We have some special guests coming. We'll announce those in the future. Right. But uh, it's going to be a fun time. Sweet. Now, is that straight? That one's straight. Yeah, <laughs> on got it. It's uh, much also, easier with two people. Everyone pay attention to this. We don't want to buy your stuff. Guys, please stop coming in our showroom and being like, Hi, I'm Joe and Joe from Slob on Your Knob, and here's what I'm going to try to sell you. Just coming into our showroom. I, he didn't say into. I said into. Boy. What'd I say? Major Just pause. coming in our showroom. Wow. That's not what I meant. <laughs> and then you said something about Joe Blow slob and on Slob on my knob. I'm like, Dan is upset. Well, no. You should be because you talk to most of them. I know. If somebody's got a pamphlet, I'm like, I'm like, I'm just going to let Ed handle this one because that'll be like, we're not interested. And just like walk away. Yeah. Here. Look at that thing, man. Band. It's got arrow, dude. Got band. It's not a Nissan, it's a Honda. It's the coolest Honda. van you've ever seen Honda, in your Honda, life. Honda. It's got, Honda. Look at the wing. It's got side skirts, front lip. Mm. It's got always some, good when the cars come in. Some good stuff, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> We got nice cells here, all white. Most of them are two tone, you know. Aristo. Nice all blue, dark blue. Oh. It looks like blue. I see a problem on the door right there. Oopsie. Sir. Oh, it looks good too. Looks good underneath. And then the Odyssey van. What? <laughs> this is crazy. What? Look at that arrow, now. Man. Look at that wing. Okay, come on. This is a Fast and Furious Odyssey van, bro. Puppy. Pup. Pup. Puppy. Let <laughs> me get your thoughts, Steven. What do you think? What's your favorite on the truck so far? Sir. Sir? Yes, sir. What? I like the wood on it. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. What about you, Chris? What's your favorite on the on the, on the truck so far? If you had to pick any one. Odyssey. Of course you would say that. <laughs> Oh, man. You need a daily one of those, man. <laughs> I don't have kids. You don't have to have kids for that. It's just a cool van, man. Just slam uh, it. I mean, if you got kids, yeah, right? Right. And you're looking for something still cool to drive. <laughs> you got a couple kids' child seats, safety seats, whatever they're called. Actually, I'd say the Aristo. The Aristo? That's my favorite, yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Dark blue Aristo. 2J. Yeah, it's a Vertex. I don't see no Mustangs though on this truck. <laughs> or, or BMWs, man. Not yet, not yet. I'm I don't know about BMWs. I was about to say, he's that's coming out of his paycheck, right? I told him if it's German, it's got to start with a P. <laughs> oh, good. Good. <laughs> Come on, Porsche's the best German car made. Hands I don't disagree. Down. I don't disagree, down. but you know, BMW's up there with it. And is it Porsche? Porsche. Or Porsche. Porsche. Ooh, question of the day. Question of the day. Is it <laughs> Porsche day. or Porsche? 
Is it one syllable or two? Comment below. Nah, go on, Bo. I'll tell you what. Jump real quick. <laughs> so, we're getting these in now. This is chassis SXE10 or SXE10. Um, IS300 in the States, that's what it's known as. But of course, this is a Toyota Altezza. And it comes with the 3S GE, right? In the States, they had 2JZ GE. But this is a 3S GE, but it's the beams. It's the, the last version of the 3S GE. It's got like titanium valves and uh, basically like a little header. I don't know if you can really get any kind of view of it at all right there with the heat shields and everything, but it's got like a real deal like header on it and mm -hmm. everything. We all drove this and we all had a blast with it. So would you say it's a good reliable engine or? Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure, yep. for sure. It's a Toyota. Right, I was gonna say it's Toyota. It's Toyota, right? right? So, <laughs> so you said this is a Beams. What does that even stand for? Okay, it stands for Breakthrough Engine with Advanced Mechanism System. Wow, complicated. Yeah. Whatever that means. It means it's awesome and it's really advanced. With mechanisms? With the mechanisms and systems. Super happy that these are legal now. They're, you know, 25 years old mm -hmm. and we're able to bring these in and we're stoked because we're just, we're going after these. We're gonna have a lot more of these.